Here I am back at my sewing machine and I've asked Joanne, that's my daughter Joanne, who's the videographer, to zoom in and I wanna show you. On my machine, I have uh, quilting stitches and it's pre-programmed in a quarter inch. So I'm gonna select the quarter inch. But remember in the last video, I like to shorten my stitch length to two. And because I want a scant quarter inch, I'm gonna move my needle over to the 2.5. This is my quarter inch foot, and you can see it's got a little wider opening on it, and so I am able to move my needle around. Also, if you have a quarter inch foot, uh, you may want to look at yours and look at some of these little red markings. They are all uh, measurements that you can use. So the center marking is your needle position. The first red line in front and the first red line behind is one eighth of an inch. And then the second red line in front and the second in the back is a quarter inch. So that really helps when you're trying to measure for turning corners, et cetera, et cetera. I also had somebody comment uh, on Facebook, uh, when do you cut your salvage edge off? So I find uh, salvage edges don't have to be cut off until you're ready to cut the prescribed size that you need for your block. So once this strip set is sewn together, I will square it up and in the squaring up process, take off the salvage edge. Here I am, I have my strip set now positioned underneath my presser foot. And again, because my sewing machine has the ability to have the needle stop in the down position, I am going to set my machine to do that. And I'm simply going to run the raw edge of my fabric against the guide of my presser foot. And as I'm moving along, I want to just make sure that my strip sets, the salvage edge or the raw edge of my strip sets stay flush with one another. We do not want any peekers. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing this strip set and then I'm going to meet you once again over at my ironing board. Okay, I'm over here at my uh, ironing station and you can see that I have uh, my first two fabrics sewn together. I have my background fabric. I have my alternating fabric and I'm pretty good making sure that I have no peekers and once again because I want the seams to fall towards the dark color fabric I'm going to have that dark fabric up. Now I want you all to do this. I want you to take your finger and just sort of run it over that seam and you will actually feel a little lump and then I'm going to get you to set your seam with your iron, just like I'm doing here, because we want to do that. Now that you've set that seam, now run your finger over that same seam, and you'll find that that lump or that bump is now into the fabric. So what we're going to do is remember, sew a seam, press a seam. So I've set my seam, and now I'm just going to take my iron, and I'm going to sweep it over just like this, until I have the whole strip set. Once I have this done, I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine and I'm going to put the other side of my background. So when I get that done, I'll come back and we'll do one more seam. And then you are ready to start working on your Y blocks. Here I am. I have my other side of my um, three uh, strip set sewn together. And what I'm gonna do is set my seam just like we did and I have my dark fabric on up and then I'm just simply going to sweep the iron over sweep the iron over so remember sew a seam and press the seam all right guys I'm back uh, from my sewing machine I now have all of my Y block strip sets sewn together and again, I'm making the twin size. So for the twin size, I required uh, 12 strip sets uh, consisting of my background, two background pieces and one center piece. And again, I'm using a green because uh, that's the fabric I chose that goes really well. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started on sub cutting and these need to be cut into five inch segments. So I have laid out three of my strip sets because I like to kind of work uh, in multiples. 
and I'm simply going to uh, take a line on my ruler. So I've chosen a line and I'm just going to lay it on one of the seam lines. So I've just chosen the seam line on my first strip set that's on top here. And I've got my, I don't know if Joanne can get in here. I've got my nine inch line on that seam line. And that just helps keep my ruler straight. And now that I've got my ruler positioned, uh, I am going to simply remove the salvage edges. So I've got them all off. And if you recall, I think I mentioned the last time we were videotaping, someone asked me about why I didn't cut my salvage edges off. And that's because I do it at this step. So now that I have these, and I have a long strip set, I could try and rotate these strip sets around, but I'm simply going to rotate my mat because I can. So I've rotated my mat and I've repositioned my strip set and I'm now going to use my ruler only instead of going lengthwise like this, I'm going to turn my ruler and I'm going to work in five inch increments. So starting with the 20 inch because I'm working in increments of five so it'll be 20, 15, 10, 5, and so on. So here goes. I got 20 lined up on my raw edge. Do one cut, back the ruler off to 15. Do another cut, back the ruler off to 10. Making sure your ruler stays straight. And back the ruler off to five. Because I have three strip sets stacked on top of one another, and I'm using my power cutting technique. I've got three, six, nine, 12 of the 90 inch, 96 segments that I require. I am going to continue on in this fashion until I have all 96 of my segments cut. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to get the Z blocks prepared. Here I have uh, my Y blocks all cut out using my power cutting technique that I just demonstrated. The 96 blocks that I cut out took approximately 10 minutes. So they're all done, sub cut into five inch segments. So I'm just gonna stack them all up and put them aside. What I have in front of me now is my Z block. And this is a five inch strip by the width of fabric. And I need a total for a twin size, I need a total of 38, five inch segments. So I, I'm just gonna leave them folded in half. I have my salvage edge on my right hand side and I've actually got three strips st stacked on top of one another. I'm going to take my ruler, line up a straight edge on my ruler with the straight edge of my fabric. I'm going to remove the salvage edge and then I'm very carefully going to rotate my strips and again, using power cutting, I'm going to start with 20 inches and I'm going to proceed with subcutting these strips into five inch segments. So it's gonna be 20, 15, 10, and five. So I'm gonna get that done and then I'll be right back. So I have all of my uh, Z blocks cut out and actually I started off with um, five 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 inch strips and for every uh, strip I get, I get eight five inch squares. I only need 38, so I will have two extras for my twin size. So do the math. Uh, I know that is a little challenging for some of you out there, but give it a thought. You should be able to get at least eight five inch squares from each strip and just look at the, uh, the segment requirements that you need. So for my twin, I needed 38. A queen, you need 58. King, you need 84. And if you're doing the crib lap size, you only need seven. Okay, let's get started cutting out our setting triangles and our corner triangles. Okay, I have my uh, setting triangle fabric laying out here on my mat and I'm using the teal green, same as what I've got in my, um, my Y blocks. And, um, these are going to be squares that are going to be cut twice on the diagonal. And I need to make start with a 14 inch square. 
Well, my predicament is I have an eight and a half inch ruler, I have a six inch ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my six inch ruler. First off, before I get started there, I want to just simply square up my fabric to make sure that I have a nice square edge. So as a right-handed cutter, I always square up on the right-hand side. I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to turn it lengthwise and I'm gonna find the 14 inch mark and I'm going to lay it down on the edge of my fabric. So from here to here is 14 inches. I'm gonna take my second ruler and I'm just going to butt it up against. And now I have a very accurate 14 inch um, strip of fabric. So I'm gonna get my strips cut and then we're gonna come back and do the subcut. Okay, you can see now that I have my 14 inch square here and again, I have my salvage edge on, so now I'm going to uh, cut my salvage edge off, but in the same vein, I'm also going to be squaring up my raw edge of my fabric. So a simple cut, got rid of my raw edge, and because I need a 14 inch square, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to take my second ruler, I'm going to lay the 14 inch mark on the raw edge of my fabric, and I'm gonna take my second ruler and I'm going to bump it up. And now I have, here I now have two, because it's folded in half, two 14 inch squares. And all I'm gonna do is cut this twice on the diagonal, which means I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna go from corner to corner, left to right or right to left. I'm gonna make a cut. And then I'm simply going to rotate my ruler and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite corners. And I now have my setting triangles. So there's two here. So I've got two, four, six, eight out of the first two triangles. So I'm going to continue cutting my setting triangles. And then when I'm finished doing this, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to do the corner. So I have all of my setting triangles. So I needed to cut five 14 inch squares, cut them twice on the diagonal. I have a total of 20 setting triangles. That took two and a bit, or one and a bit um, strips, 14 inch strips, and this piece I have left over, I'm going to cut into my um, quarter triangles. So let's get started. So I just basically took that last piece that was left over, I've opened it up, and I'm now gonna cut my four corner triangles, which is what everybody's gonna need no matter what size you're gonna use. So we're gonna start with a four and one eighth inch strip of fabric. And I'm gonna cut. And I'm simply going to subcut this strip into two four and one eighth inch squares. There's one and there's two. I now have my four and one eighth inch squares and I'm going to do exactly the same thing, only this time it's just one cut on the diagonal from corner to corner. So there's one and again, there's two. All right, so that pretty much concludes all of the cutting for the inside of your mystery quilt. We will come back and start working on borders later. Um, so again, four corner triangles, and you are all ready to start constructing your quilt top. This is Jackie from Myra Stitch and Post, and I look forward to seeing your progress.